Hi, everybody. So today is Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And this is one of my Barbie movie reviews. It's so exciting. Yay. And we are talking about Barbie, a fashion fairy tale. Go with Barbie on a journey across the ocean. Oh, la, la. To a place where dreams come alive. You can do this. I know it. It's true. Magic happens when you believe in yourself. It's time to... You believed. And <laughs> look at the results. Does anyone else feel inspired? Oh, yes. <laughs> Barbie, a fashion fairy tale. And this uh, movie came out in 2010, and it's one of the modern Barbie movies, supposed to the fairy tales, even though it's a fashion fairy tale. And I typically don't like the modern ones as much as the fairy tale ones. But I have to say, this is probably the best modern one that I've ever seen. I know some of the other Barbie movies don't have as much whimsy. They're not as much fun as the uh, as this one. And uh, this one, because it is kind of trying to be magical and fairy tale, it's way more of my style than most of the other modern ones, which get a little too catty and just not my favorite. So this one, it tells the story of Barbie, who's an actress. She is being, uh, she's in a adaptation of The Princess and the Pea. At the beginning, uh, they're filming and there's these mutant zombie peas and she's getting frustrated because they're not taking her seriously enough. And so she says something and she gets fired. She gets fired from her job. So it's all kinds of scandal. And then the shockingest thing that's ever happened in the world of Barbie happens where she gets broken up with, with Ken over the phone. And I was shocked. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I posted it on Twitter. What has just happened? Holy cow. But we learn that it was all a trick. What? <laughs> learn that this was all a joke done by Raquel, Barbie's rival, where she tricked Ken into being in a play or whatever, a script, and she recorded him reading the words and then played them to Barbie. And I'm mean, just talking majorly bad timing here to come in right at uh she got as she had lost her job and so raquel is the villain of this <laughs> what did she do ruining trying to break up barbie and ken this is a disaster so barbie is so upset about breaking up with ken and losing her job that she goes to paris to her aunt millicent who is a fashion designer but not only is she a fashion designer she is a magical fashion designer which brings in our fashion fairy tale and we have the flairies which are the funnest fairies i've ever seen that what they do <laughs> is they not only help with the fashion but they glitterify the fashion which is really fun there's also barbie's poodle sequin which gets her she gets her own fashion makeover <laughs> there's also a a uh a millicent has a dog that kind of falls in love with <laughs> sequin but that doesn't really go a whole lot of places with that but there's also the kind of villainous uh fashion house that uh is against millicent and that plots to steal her magical fairies and and become the the next big thing and so that's all kinds of scandal going on you also have the fact that millicent has sold her uh shop to a hot dog stand so that's terrible and it's going to be turned into a hot dog store if she doesn't make enough money in the fashion show to pay off the hot dog place and they even have the guy in the hot dog suit, the hot dog puffy suit at the fashion show. Uh, so <laughs> you've got fashion, uh, a fashion uh, show. You have glitter everywhere. You have fairies. And then you also have Ken doing this kind of like a, the mom in home alone where he's trying to get to Paris so that he can, he can uh, make things right with Barbie and he gets stuck in all these places and he's with a farmer at one point he's on a truck and he's on a plane and he's on this is a, 
effort that he has to make in order to get to Paris. He finally gets to Paris. He and they, of course, are reunited on the runway. It's very romantic. So if you want your Barbie movies to be full of magic, romance, drama, <laughs> and love, and love, I think that this is the the movie for you. This is one is a lot of fun. I it's nice also to have a, a Barbie movie that is about Barbie. A lot of them she's Barbie as, Barbie as, Rapunzel, Barbie as, you know, whatever. And so this is kind of fun that she's just Barbie as Barbie. And uh, you don't get to hear Kelly Sheridan as Barbie in this case, which is a little bit uh so kind of weird for me because I I just think she does such a good job in the role uh but you have Diana Karina in the role and she does fine I just like Kelly Sheridan better as the voice of Barbie uh and everything else is there's no like real big names in this one uh like on some of them but they all do a a serviceable job I think uh, in their roles so uh yeah if you if you like your Barbie movies I think the animation this one is fine uh, you know it's not gonna win any awards or anything but compared to some of them it's it's uh definitely on the better side for this series i would say is this animation so yeah let me know what you think of barbie as a fashion fairy tale were you shocked by the breakup as i was how do you feel about the story do you like the fairies i think they're really cute a lot of fun and uh so yeah the flairies i should say not the fairies <laughs> Let me know what you think of this Barbie story. I would love to hear your thoughts and please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, please consider becoming a patron and we can do more Barbie reviews if you, if you want, I would love that. And uh, also we have our merch store, which has lots of fun, fun, fun merch. And uh, thanks again. And we'll see y'all next week. Family movie night. Bye everyone.